Hey, welcome back. Whoa, wait a minute. Don't leave. You're on the right channel. I know what you're thinking. Who's that guy? Where's Anthony? That guy's too cool to be Anthony because he's wearing a suit. So here's what happened. I bought a suit and now I'm wearing it. That's the story. Um, I, I was wearing it when I, I recorded like a video for the besties group that I'm in. And so I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to wear this suit because for a vlog. Because I posted that, I made a video. So I'm in the social anxiety group on Facebook and everybody there is super nice. So I made a little quick three minute video in the suit, posted it there. And everybody was like, Anthony, you look super cool in that suit. And I was like, okay, thank you. That's what I needed. I'm all good. Um, that sounded weird and kind of arrogant. Um, I posted a video there because I don't feel comfortable in a suit. I think it looks weird on me. I think it looks like, um, so like I, I did a thing, let's, I'll do it here too, where I'm just like, I get up and I'll show you um, what I look like in a suit. So that's what I did in the besties group and I did that to be like okay I want to see what I look like in a suit and try to get more comfortable looking at myself in a suit and everybody there was super nice they were all like hey you look to totally normal and cool nice suit cool guy and that helped me a lot because when I see myself like when I just did I see like three kids trying to sneak into an R-rated movie theater and they're wearing a trench coat. Like, that's what I look like. I, it looks weird. Does I don't know. Does anybody else see that? I, I don't look right. I mean, I never look right. Um, so I don't look right in the suit. Oh, God. Is this what you do with a tie? What do you... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh... I, don't, I wasn't planning to record this week. And so, hey, you know what? It's been a long time since I've recorded a vlog. Like a real vlog. It's been like three weeks or something. Um, I was gonna record last week, but I felt sad. And so I decided not to, which is always stupid. It's like, when you feel sad, record, because like, that's the whole point of this whole thing. And I didn't do it. Um, like I felt the most depressed I probably felt in like a year last weekend I'm feeling better now um, but I got sung by a bee today well who, who cares about that uh, I wore a suit in a bees yeah I mean I, I, I've always kind of been talking about this like I'm not depressed I'm not depressed and the good job like working from home is the best thing that's ever happened to me I was thinking about today actually I remember I used to, like when I worked at jobs with people, um, and you can, I can even remember doing this in school, but I feel like this is a common thing. I don't know. Like, um, we'll start with a school example. Like, remember when you're in school and your teacher would be like, I have this folder that has to go to the office. Who wants to take it? And all the kids would be like, I want to take it. Because for me, that was like, a break from all the other people like okay you take the folder and then you walk to the office and you don't have to worry about anything you're by yourself it's uh, relaxing you don't have to worry about the teacher calling on you or something although I think I never really volunteered because in order to do that you'd have to raise your hand but I can just remember that scenario um, 
And so I remember when I had my first job, I worked at a pizzeria, and once in a while the guy would be like, I hated that job, it was the worst job, like, uh, it was so awful for me. And um, he'd be like, oh, there's a pasta sauce in the basement, like, can you go get it? And I'd be like, yes. Okay, that's 10 minutes or five minutes, because like, it was in this like garage on the side five minutes away from the front desk where you don't have to worry about answering the phone or, or talking to people and I can just relax. So five minutes closer to the end of the day. <laughs> um, that's my whole day now. I'm by myself all the time and it's relaxing and it's never, I don't think I'm ever gonna be like missing that and like being around people. And so it's good, like I found my job, this is it. Um, and I can kind of indefinitely work from home and maybe once a week next year, I'll go into the office, but it'll be fine. Um, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is where I'm supposed to be. And I don't want to be underappreciative of that at all. But yeah, so I have to start by saying that. But then the note that I was writing last week is like, it's starting to wear off. Just like the, it's, it's almost, it's not enough again which is kind of a scary thought because, okay, the next thing that I want to do is like dating or whatever. So like, even if I get that, will I reach a point like a year later where I'm like, ah, this dating thing isn't enough. Is it never enough? I don't know. I mean, I always kind of imagine my parents watching these or any like a Christian watching these and just screaming at the screen like, it's not enough, like you're missing Jesus. All right, fine. Um, I don't understand what that means. I'm a Christian, I've been a Christian my whole life. I, I, I like Jesus, he's awesome. I pray to him. What else am I supposed to do? Like what's, what's missing? I don't know. So yeah, I mean, I do, in the back of my head, I do think like, well, if you get a serious partner relationship, it'll fix everything, which is, kind of seems like it's true um but it's also super dangerous to believe that because that's how you develop a codependent relationship which is bad don't want that um how do you avoid a codependent relationship you have your own interests and your own life and then you meet someone who has their own interests and their own life and you're like hey i think you're cool i want to spend time with you then that's healthy. But it's hard for me to develop my personality and who I am and liking myself, like just in a vacuum. I mean, I'm doing it as good as I can. Like I've joined this internet group and I make these videos and I watch them back and I'm like, hey, you're kind of a person and that's all I want. But yeah, I think what kind of set me off, like the catalyst for it was kind of funny. I was watching the finale of Monk, which is an old TV show that I watched when I was a kid. And I remember, I think I was probably like 15 or 16 when that show ended. And I watched it every week with my parents, which was nice, we like watching it together. But I was kind of, I had this weird feeling when I was watching the finale last week and kind of Imagining a normal person in the same scenario where like they're a 29 year old guy and they're watching the finale of a show that they had watched 13 years ago. And, and for them, they would look around and be like, oh my God, so much has changed since then. I'm so much more adult and so much better. And I had the feeling like I'm the same person like what's changed since I was I'm still that 16 year old kid and it's made me sad I'm like okay so what like instead of saying zero sentences to people now you can say one sentence to people it took you 13 years to get there um that's frustrating and um, I was depressed on Saturday, but I did end up doing my two. Um, so my two hard things I had to do this week was Sunday. I had to do a barbecue and Tuesday I had to meet my coworkers. So I did, I did do those things. Um, and a good thing, I was just thinking about this yesterday or two days ago. It doesn't matter how many days ago it was. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't know, I feel like I need to be more precise while I'm wearing the suit. <laughs> Do I seem different at all? Do I seem like... Sometimes I actually just kind of forgot that I was wearing it, which is interesting. Um, that's good. That's what I want. Um, oh, so the dread, the dread, I feel like there's two different, so I mean, social anxiety, I've learned the past couple of years, there's like three different aspects of it. There's the pre-event anxiety, there's the during anxiety, and there's the post-event anxiety. And so you have like different things you can use to help you get through those. But for me, I didn't realize that the pre-anxiety is actually broken up into two specific things. The one is the the moment you know you have to do a thing. So for this uh, co-worker thing, I knew like three weeks in advance that I had to do it. Normally, from that point of learning that I had to do it, I would be have this dread of like oh the day's coming and i don't really want to go and i hate everything and i just wish i was like the people out there strolling in the sun i'm quasimodo and i don't want to i'm sad here and i'm in a suit then there's the day of anxiety which is like kind of the, the right before is this it's yeah it's the day of anxiety and that's a little bit different it's like bubbling um, anxiety like in here and like you're tense and sometimes you get tired. The interesting thing is that I still <clears throat> I still have that day of anxiety. It's better because that's what I've been working on is like working on that day of anxiety and, and dealing with that, preparing for the thing. I've gotten better. It's still there though. But the dread anxiety is totally gone. I was not, I didn't dread the event. And, and honestly, like, I know I kind of joke about this wedding. I'm not dreading it. I'm, I'm just like, okay, I gotta go to work tomorrow. It's gonna be fine. I'm not dreading the wedding. The day of and the day before, it's gonna be a disaster. Um, I'm gonna be worried about it. And I still, I still have like an echo of that dread. It's like, oh, I know the dread should be here. So like, oh, maybe I'm, I'm I should be dreading it. And that's kind of like when I talk here and I'm like, oh, I, I hate this wedding and I don't want to go. But I don't really feel that dread that I used to. Um, why is that? I have a theory. The theory is, goes as such. Oh, I had this weird theory about like, when I was younger, I would have the dread because it wasn't a choice for me. I had to do the thing. I had to go. I had. I couldn't even make an excuse because making an excuse is like so much anxiety of like trying to come up with, oh, I'm sick and like you have to tell somebody you're sick. So that's why I had the dread because there's no choice. Like you're being executed and for like something you didn't, a crime you didn't commit or whatever. And like, so you're, that's why it always felt um, like you're about to die. That's the dread. You have to give a presentation in school. Like you can't not do it. You have no choice. Now when I do things, it feels like a choice because I could not go to the wedding. I could. I could say, hey, I would feel comfortable being like, hey, you know, like I, and it's probably because of therapy and I've gotten a little better with communication, just being like, hey, like, I don't really want to go and um, I, I don't feel comfortable or whatever and I, I can't go. And like, so I could say that to him and he'd be like, oh yeah, fine. You don't have to go if you don't want to. Um, we'll miss you, but like, yeah, it's up to you, whatever you want. So I could do that. So it is a choice for me. I'm making a choice to go. And so that's why the dread isn't there because at any point in the in from the day of to before to now, I could just not go. That's why there's no dread. I think it's a theory. A working theory. What do you think about my theories? Evolution is just a theory. So yeah, I don't know, part of my note was saying like, you're too far gone. I know it's not true, I'm not too far gone. We're gonna go on this wedding. We're gonna go to this wedding and I've decided I'm not dancing. I don't, I don't feel comfortable dancing. That's the thing I'm like most stressed about is like that part of the wedding where everybody's like, 
Oh, you know what time it is. It's the dance time. Everybody get your dance shoes on out onto the dance floor. And I'm like, don't make me dance in front of all these people. What do you want me to do? You want me to do a freaking chicken dance? I'm not doing it. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the f I've never danced in front of every anybody in my entire life. Like the first time I do it, I'm not going to do it in front of people where I'm like not comfortable doing it. That's so like that's why I'm okay being like I'm not a bad person for not wanting to dance. It's fine. Yeah, maybe I'm a little bit of a bad person. Who cares? It's just so weird. It's like all these older people and like, oh, it's my grandma's here. Like now dance in front of her. That's like always been the weird thing to me. It's like, oh, oh, like all the young people go into the dance floor and then like all the kind of older people are kind of sitting and watching. And sometimes, oh, but the grandma's coming up and now she's dancing. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Grandma's got some dance moves. I'm doing the DJ. Like, oh, looks like Grandma's got some dance moves. Shut up, DJ. <laughs> um, I just, the dancing part. Like, I could sit and I can eat the food in the suit. Although I'm a little bit stressed about, like, am I overdressed? I don't know. My therapist was like, you can't be, like, unless you're wearing, like, a tuxedo. Like, you're not overdressed for a wedding. It's a wedding. You can wear a suit. It's fine. But what if it's too hot? I don't know, I have this thought in my head, like, people looking at me and being like, oh, this guy, he really wanted to wear a suit. Like, it's so hot out and he's still wearing the suit. Like, he wants us to know that he is wearing a suit or something. Like, he thinks he's better than us because he, he, he bought a suit. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I was going to do one more thing today. And I felt comfortable doing this because nobody watches this it's related to the three kids in the trench coat thing of like my immaturity and trying to connect with a partner and being like who can i connect with because like i am looking at i i, I don't know i there, there maybe there is some kind of like a mental thing it's because i've never really been in a relationship before i kind of have like an image i feel immature I don't know how to explain it, and the only way I thought I could explain it is to like show you a picture of the person that It's Just Lunch sent me, and that who I rejected. And It's Just Lunch, they're not doing very good. They, I emailed them twice, and they never got back to me, so like I spent a thousand dollars, probably wasted it, whatever. So I have debated about showing you the picture, but I feel like it's hard to explain. Okay, so I signed up for this matchmaking service called It's Just Lunch. I met with the person for like an hour. I told them like as good as I could like who I am and my interests or whatever. And she sent me somebody to match with. And I was like, ugh, I, I feel something. Like I'm too immature for this person. Um, like I'm three kids in a trench coat and I'm going to go to meet this person and they're going to be like, hey, wait a minute you're just three kids in a trench coat like you're you're not good enough for me i don't know um because i look at this person i'm like oh she looks really nice and like she's super smart she said that i don't know she, she rides horses or something and um i could match with i uh, so like I, I don't know i guess i'm asking like am am i wrong no i'm not can't be wrong i don't know what i'm doing Sad man wears a suit. I'm just gonna show you the picture of the person. Can you see him? This person does not match with me. That's what I'm feeling. What's the other, this one? Then the kimono. No, right? Right, am I crazy? I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel too immature to be with like I don't know. It's, it sounds scary to say something like that because then my first thought is like, immature. Do you want to date like an 18 year old? No, that's not what I mean. I like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Just for the record, FBI. I know nobody's watching, but maybe sometimes the FBI watches or something. Don't want to date an 18 year old. 
I, anybody under 24 is like a baby to me so like okay we'll just get that on the record <laughs> it's because it's true <laughs> it's true i'm not just like saying i don't know whatever i don't know i wanted to because like i am flipping through the apps and stuff sometimes and i'm just like these people i don't know what is that mentality of like i'm, I'm they're not gonna like me because i'm immature because like I, I don't know. Like yeah, I don't know. When I see people out in the world, and I'm like, uh, they're attractive, but I'm like, well, they're they're like too mature for me, even if they're like my age. Is it a confidence thing? I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut this whole part out. That's just the frustration. Yeah, I mean it's all connected. The theme of this video. My last week of depression is just immaturity and not growing enough. Just feeling like I can't connect with a partner because I'm not mature enough. I'm, and it's a good thematically like wearing the suit is funny. Like, oh, you're not mature enough. Wear the suit. Maybe you'll feel more mature or something. And then like I look at myself and I see the three kids in the trench coat, and that's just it. This I I don't I don't I can't like my life. I can't do it there's got to be somebody i mean i've never really my eyes are like open now and like i'm looking for people like oh her could she be my wife forever i'm looking and i've never seen anybody who i've been like oh her i should ask her um the past year pretty much since i got this job now that now like i'm open to like a relationship and i'm looking and I'm like, anybody, anybody? And uh, haven't seen, like, they're sending me people on these matches. I'm like, not her. <laughs> I'm swiping on the Tinders. I went on these Tinder dates. I'm like, well, not her. Is that a me thing? Am I not really open? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there's got to be somebody. Am I crazy? Don't answer that. Am I crazy? Am I is it crazy to wear a suit for a vlog? No, I should do that thing like some sometimes they do in YouTube where it's like you you look at one direction and you're like, "Am I crazy to wear a suit?" And then you cut to like, "Wait, <laughs> okay." <laughs> and you're like this side. I can't really do it. No, no, Anthony, you're totally normal. And then you cut back to like, "Oh, thank you." other person I don't know I'm not doing that oh god the suit oh god the suit <sighs> today we're going to talk about business thank you for coming to business 101 where we talk about business. The first lesson of business is to buy a suit. When you buy a suit, you convey business. I know business because I bought a suit. I'm gonna show you something that made me happy this week. I bought a shirt. Hold on. I bought a shirt that says Owl City. That's the thing that made me happy this week because um, I feel like even when I was uh, in high school and I first listened to Owl City, like I wanted merch, but I never bought it. I mean, in high school, I would have never worn an Owl City shirt. Um, yeah, because I thought Owl City was lame and I was afraid of people knowing that I liked it. And I always felt like his uh, merch was a little too, like, hot topic or something. I don't know. Just kind of, like, emo, edgy, weird. And I was like, I just want an Owl City simple logo. And this one is the... It's still a bit much. Too many colors and it's too big. I just want, like, smaller letters, but... Uh, I like it. It's, like, kind of beachy vibe and uh it's fine that made me happy because he's gonna release a new album in a couple months 
his first album in like six years or something and it's gonna probably suck let's be honest but i have such a connection to owl city and just being like when i was in high school that was like the only band that i listened to and i had no friends and owl city was my friend so next week uh the uh the wedding's in two weeks i'll keep you updated if anybody's watching oh thanks uh ariel commented she said hi hi um did uh and dalton dalton I, i'm so appreciative of dalton because like he's still like he's super busy and he still takes time to comment once in a while um i like this tie i like this like silver tie silver tie it's silver tie on my suity suity suit hear them suit soon it will be suit must day suity sidewalk Suity sidewalk. Alright, see you next week. Bye.